Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. It is Spook here, and we are in a house. Why are we in the house, you say? Because I got bored one day, and then I realized something. Something cool that we haven't done in a long time. We haven't done a mods review. That's right, folks. I'm bringing them back. It's back. Spookalize. Mods and Mo review. Woohoo! So every Monday I'm going to be doing a mods review. Uh, today we will. I'll be explaining what today's mod is. But first, I like to say, uh, this map I downloaded, which is probably going to be my mods map, is a really nice map. I like it. It's in a cave. It's nice and cozy. Uh, I added a few small touches over here, as you could probably tell. But uh, nothing fancy. Just things so we could get into it. Now, now, folks. Um, I need to turn up my music, my master volume, just a tiny bit so we can at least hear some of this. Now, for those of you wondering what mod we're doing today, Spook, we are doing the Ruby mod. Now, for those of you who don't know what Ruby is, Ruby is an animation... Uh, it, it's not an anime, and then it is an anime. It's a animated series made by Rooster Teeth, which I'm sure some of you know from... YouTube, and if you don't, I'm sure some of you know from the com from comic series of various qualities. But yeah, they made a series called Ruby, which is about a group of people going to learn to fight monsters at a high school. And these monsters are apparently like the enemy of humanity, and they want to eat you. It's kind of like a mixture of Attack on Titan mixed with Soul Eater, maybe? Because they all have cool weapons. Their weapons are so awesome, folks. Like, I love... I'll tell you that right now, folks. When it comes to a game... When it comes to a game, an anime, or something like that, what catches my eye first is two things. Design of the enemy, and design of the weapons. And then the design of the armor, and character development, and all that such. I know it's stupid, folks, but it's just... It's how my eyes work. If I like a weapon design, I'm going to watch it. If I like how a monster looks, I'm going to watch it. If that bat's on fire, I'm going to watch it burn. There we go. So, folks, um, the weapons today, we have four different chests, as you can see. And that's for four different reasons. The weapons they have so far in this mod, because this mod is not complete, it's updated to... 1.7.2 and it is really cool they have two sets of weapon they have well they have more than two sets but they have three main characters of weapons and they have some blocks and such we will get into they have first we have team ruby which contains the four main characters weapons so as you can see we have the crescent rose a high caliber sniper right sniper scythe that's right, folks. You're reading that right. It's a sni it's a sniper rifle and a scythe combined. There's a sniper rifle in the handle, so that's just badass right there. We've got the Ember Kilikas dual ranged shot gauntlets. These sh these gauntlets have shotguns built into them, pretty much. Demistinaster, Demistaster. A multi-action dust rapier. Now, for those of you wondering what dust rate, what dust is, uh, dust is kind of like the power system of this of these things. They all run on dust or some form of thing like that. Now, let's in the gimbal, gimbal, shroud, a ballistic, a variant ballistic chain scythe. Now, over here we have the supporting characters, which is the second... They're also main characters, but they're also not in the main plot all the time. These are Team Juniper, and their weapons are the Croaka Moor, a longsword with a shield, sleet sheath, the Storm Flower, the, Mag, the Magnide, and the Milo and Anoku. I'm probably pronouncing those wrong. I'm very sorry, folks, if I am. But anyway, uh, then over here we have the enemy's armor and weapons. There's not much on the enemies yet. 
There's the giant sword, henchmen's axes, and katana. The white fang, uh, the melodic crud, uh, cuticle, which isn't able to use its actual mode yet, sadly. Well, it might be able to. I didn't try it out yet. And then we have the giant's armor, which we will get into in a second. Then over here we have the stuff. We have dust, which is, like I said, the power system of this game, kind of. We have a glass jar, a jar of forever fall tree sap, coffee, slow ice, glyph blocks, cliffside altar, and then we have some summoning things. So I think we're going to get into the basics of it first, folks. Uh, one sec, let me do something real quick, now I think about it. This is probably going to be important, let's see, uh, because it keeps saying there's probably going to be, there's probably some kind of ammo in this game, I just got to figure out what it would be. What would it be? Well, you know what folks, we could probably just show it off right here. Uh, first we will go with Crescent Rose, which belongs to the main character, uh, Ruby. And look at this thing folks, it is beautifully made. I give it to the moderate to the mod creator that he knows how to at least show the beauty of these things cuz they got this powerfulness and and that's right folks when you change when you right click it changes to a to its sniper rifle mode and it fires a pretty good long range shot uh it does a good bit of damage too so it, that's a good 20 damage let's test it out on a enemy uh let's grab uh, Let's grab a hench the henchman. Grab the henchman spawn. Go over here. We'll go to my testing chamber. To my testing corral area. Oh, that's right. We're on, uh, we're on peaceful. There we go. So you see, there's the henchman, folks. And that's pretty good. Wait, what? It's not hitting him. Okay, so it did that, and he dropped some sun dust. Also, folks, I just remembered something. Let me test it. You could also use... Yeah, you could also use uh, the Crescent Rose as a type of locomotion, I guess. A type of transportation as Ruby used, would do in the anime. Animation. It's... I just say anime, folks, because it's considered an anime. Oh, you could just right-click and it changes it. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, she uses it to dart around, so she can just fly away to her magical place. Just kidding, folks. But she does use it to get around. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Squirrel. That's right, this pig is named Squirrel. After my uncle. I am not lying on that, folks. His nickname is Squirrel. Don't ask me why, because I don't even know. I, like, I tried to ask my mom once why his name was Squirrel, and I couldn't understand it. But yeah, folks, that is the Crescent Rose. Next, we will move over to the Ember Kill Kalikas, which are the dual range gauntlets. Now, it only shows up on one hand, sadly. Probably, no, no, it doesn't. But these are slightly less powerful than the Crescent Rose. Oh God, everything's on fire! No, no, no. Still paying for this house, damn it. But yeah, um, they work and they belong to the sister of Ruby, who is Yang. Uh, she is interesting in the fact that she uses close, close range, and these provide an extra pump to her power. And probably they're a lot better for close range fighting probably test that actually if we throw this <laughs> yeah you see it only take it still takes only two hits but that's probably just whatever let's see if we could do this with close range that's weird it's not hitting them I don't know why it's not hitting them folks it might just be because we don't we're not using actual dust but these got that's interesting to know these guys drop dust Okay, so we've seen the Amber Kalika La Blagas. Next, we are going for the Mysteria, which belongs to Miss Wes. A 
print I guess you could say a princess but yes yeah, this thing is a little bit stronger but it also has different dust modes which means let's test it out we'll grab some fire ice and movement I think Wait, let me see, maybe if we, maybe if we, maybe if, if, if I, if I find a crafting table, hang on. Maybe if I do this, maybe if I do this, 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 this. Yeah, I got nothing, folks. I, I don't know what to do. Game mode S. Maybe if I put them in my inventory in here. Wait. Okay, that confused me. For no, get back here. Okay, folks, I have no idea what I'm doing. I there's not much information on this mod, which is kind of why I wanted to do it because uh, the an the animation itself is a very good animation. I like it a lot. Oh, that's interesting to know. Whenever you're holding this, you get different. Uh, let me see. Is it for all of them? Oh, that's so cool! I never knew that. I didn't even notice that when I was do when I was testing them all out, folks. Um, diff the nah. Depending on the weapon, you get a different uh setup boost for the Crescent Rose. You get speed two and jump boost two, which makes sense because Ruby is speedy and likes to jump around and such. For the Ember Kalakas, you get haste and speed which is yeah that makes sense I guess and then for the Mysteria you get speed 2 haste 2 and jump boost 2 so you get more boost you get more uh, stat boost from that and you also get a tight a uh, dashing attack with the yeah you get a simple dashing attack with the uh, Mysteria now let's just throw all these back in here and as you can see folks these are actually really easy to make and they make the weapon pretty much in the in the uh, crafting menu okay and the last one is the gamble shroud which belongs to miss blake uh... it comes with speed two mining fatigue two jump boost four and resistance so you get a nice big jump boost uh, you're slower when it comes to swinging. It doesn't look like you get any kind of special. Oh, oops. It doesn't look like you get any kind of special. Huh. Weird. I thought you would get some kind of special thing. Um, you do get to jump really high though, folks, which makes sense because Blake is kind of an assassin person. So that's really cool. I, f I feel like I'm doing something wrong here, folks. And if I am, please tell me in the comments. Because I know I just found this mod maybe 30 minutes ago. I thought it looked really cool and I wanted to show it off. But um, anyway, we will move to Team Juniper's set. Now, first we'll look at Juan. Wait, John? John is his name? Yeah, John is his name. Uh, we will look at John's weapons. He's got the basic sword and shield shadow. It's it's a shield and a sword combo, I guess you could say, but it doesn't seem to do much. You get resistance off of it though, which I guess is the shield part. And to make it, it's just a simple making the sword. Next, we'll go with uh, we'll go with the storm power, which belongs to. Crap, I can't remember who it belongs to now. I know who it belongs to, but I don't remember the name of it. Pew! Wow, that's actually that actually goes pretty far. And it spreads pretty fast. Jesus Christ. And that's itself. Turn fire spread off lit, uh, after this. But yeah, when you get when you have this on, you speed you got speed, haste, and jump boost. And as you could see you get a pretty long, wow, that's a really far shot.
Yeah, that's a really long shot. I like that. That's really cool for a pistol. Next, we have one of my personal favorites, the Mag Hide. Look at this thing, folks. It's so beautiful. I'm a sucker for hammers and scythes. But yeah, it's got decent power. It's a grenade launcher too, folks. So it's fires wither skulls. Oh my god. Wow. Ah, it fires wither skulls. That's so cool. Hey, spider. Nerd. And let's see if I could show... Yeah, you see, this is what it looks like whenever it's in missile form, folks. Uh, I can't really get a good view of it, sadly. Oh, there we go. That works, too. So you can see, folks, it's in missile launcher mode. Well, grenade launcher mode, but still. And it fires... Uh, wither skulls, which destroy blocks and do a good bit of damage to enemies. Uh, last, we have the Milo and Akuno which I have no idea what they do. Uh, it looks like they only allow you to do a backdash kind of deal. Or... Oh, or a forward dash if you jump. You get haste and resistance off of it, and I forgot to check what the hagging gave you. Isn't that stupid of me, folks? Uh, mining fatigue and resistance, which makes sense because this is a big hammer you're wielding. But yeah, um, that is all of the good guys, I guess you could say. Now we will move to the bad guys. We have the Milo Crew Kudgel, Kudgel? which belongs to Mr. Torchwick, an evil guy. And this doesn't feel like it's completely ready yet because it's only in one mode. It has two separate modes and as you can see it's stuck in walking stick mode. I don't know if there's something I have to do to change it to like actual gun mode because I'll tell you right now folks almost all the weapons like all the special weapons in the Ruby animation have a long range mode of some kind. But yeah this is the Torchwick gun. It's supposed the Torchwick cane gun combo I guess you could say. It also is a lighter I think. It's supposed to be able to fire but I guess it doesn't want to fire. But then we have the weapons up here. We have the White Fang sword which is kind of like the sword of the evil organization. It's the classic henchman sword that everybody gets. We have the henchman's katana and the henchman's axe which is well wielded by those two by those strange types that we saw before in our Torchwix's original servants, kinda. And then finally we have the giant sword, which I'm not 100% sure on what this means, on what this is. I feel like I've skipped out on what this is supposed to be. Because this is the armor, and then this is the sword, but it's not really that special. There's no special ability to it. It's just a giant sword, literally. Hmm. Oh well. We will now uh, get into the actual weapons, I guess you could say, folks. We'll get into these ex these new I these all ah these items also. We have the Jar of Forever Fall tree sap. The coffee. And uh, the glass jar, which you use to get to the feather fall tree sap. But uh, let's see, there's one other thing I wanted to do. What was it, folks? What was it? I wanted to test something. Let me see something. Many more of these than I thought. I'm gonna try and see how you make. Yeah, because I, I remember seeing this stuff, Rose Iron, it's used to make the... There's four different types of iron. There's Light Iron, Rose Iron, and Frost, fro, ah, frost Iron, and Shadow Iron. Uh, to get them, I'm pretty sure you just have to mine them out to find them, or you add a dust into them. Well, either way, uh, they're supposed to be used to make the parts for the weapons. I'm pretty sure... I'm not 100% sure on that, folks. There's not much information on this mod, that's all I can tell you. 
But yeah, we will get into this now. Uh, I feel like I can go for a nice cup of... Wait, folks, I got, I got this. I feel like I can go for a nice cup of coffee. So, while you have the cup of coffee being drunken, you have regen 3, which is pretty cool. You get a good bit of HP back. Um, one sec, folks. Just trying to check the time and everything. So yeah, we have that. And then if we drink the jar for a fall tree sap, you will get a few a good mixture of stuff. You will get speed three, haste three, jump roost three, nausea three, and I think the region three is still left over from the coffee. But yeah, as you can see this is very disorienting, but you could punch hella fast. So it's pretty much just drunk boxing. Ugh, I, I'm getting sick, folks. I need milk. Give Sableye milk. Fuck. God dang it. Oh god, I'll be here forever. Minecraft milk. God dang it. Screw this. I'm sorry folks, I really have to learn what that is, but, because I'm getting sick and I'm pretty sure all of you are too, I need milk. Milk. Wow, folks. Wow. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so we went over the drinks. Now we will go over these interesting little thingies that I found. Uh, let's continue over to the testing arena. Where we can now show off these cool stuff. First, we have the slow ice, which, folks, uh, works pretty much like cobwebs. They're a pain in the butt to move through, and I'm pretty sure you can't break them. So they're pretty much the cobweb. They pretty much work exactly like cobwebs. But then these are what I like. These are fun. Oops. Fix that. Still renting this place. I can't really break stuff. Okay, folks, ready? This is gonna be cool. Watch, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a cool thing. Hip, hip, and dang, I missed. But yeah, the glyph blocks help you jump extra high, and you can keep placing them as long as you have enough. In fact, okay, so it didn't work like I thought it would. Oh well. It's still pretty cool, folks, and it's still got some useful applications. Uh, next, we have the Cliffside Altar, which I'm still not 100% sure what it does. But if it does what I think it's supposed to do, I think it teleports you a random distance away. Uh, whoa, what is that? What are you? What are y'all? Hello. Hi. Y'all are interesting looking. You might be one of the mobs. Okay, that might that might explain it. All right, folks, we gotta head back. Where the where where is it? The way to head back is we have to find where we came in because if we do, I think it was up here maybe. Maybe? Maybe, baby? I might be lost. Forever lost in the sea of regret. No, seriously, folks. I'm not 100% sure where we came in at. Oh, hello. What's this? What is it? This is ice dust. This is how you collect... Look, there it is. Okay, folks. You just jump back in this, and it teleports us back to the original war pad. So, yeah. But we collected some ice dust, so that's cool. Uh, ice dust, that's another thing. You can't remove these easily. You have to remove the block underneath them. So don't put this on top of obsidian, folks. Bad idea. But yeah, ice dust and the other dust blocks are used to collect normal dust, which you use to, cre to create gems, which can be seen in here. Yeah. See, these are the crystals you use, folks, and I'm pretty sure these are the ammo and everything you would need. 
But other than that, folks, there's only one thing left to really show, and it's the mobs. And I'll quickly do that. So we, because you've already seen the henchmen. Uh, this is the giant armor, which is the boss, I guess you could say, of the game. And this also summons a giant armor. So there's two different ways to summon a giant, giant armor. There's the summoning glyph, and you can just spawn one in. There's also the polar beowulfs, which are a type of creature in the animation called Grim. Now, they don't look like this. They actually look a thousand times cooler. Uh, I would pull a picture up, but I don't know if I could find one in time. But yeah, these are awesome, and they could probably kill you within one shot. In fact, let's find out. Love me! Yeah, you see, folks? Ah, oh, it spawned me all the way back up here. Damn, yeah, it'll take me forever. You know what? No, screw it. And I screwed up, folks. I'm not the brightest of all saber eyes. Well, now we go. And we are back in my under my underground mole lair. Mwahahaha. But no, folks, that's about it. There's nothing else to really show you. Yeah, that's about it. There's nothing else to show you. So, folks, if you did enjoy this mod, uh, make sure you hit that like button. It shows you appreciate the content. And it shows you love that the mod reviews are back. And they're actually going to be mod reviews now. They're not going to be just server reviews because I got sick of doing that. So, folks, every Monday, there's going to be a new mod show. There's going to be a new mod showcase until I run out of good mod to do. In which case, I will switch it up and tell y'all in our Sunday vlog, maybe? Like, I'm, I'm trying to get a schedule. I'm trying to get, like, actual schedules worked out, folks. So, I've decided Monday is going to be Mod Review Monday. Uh, Tuesday is going to be. I'm not even sure. It might be, like, Nuzlocke Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday could be. Hunger Game Wednesday? I guess? Or Pixel Wednesday? I I'm not 100% sure, folks. I'm working on it as I speak. And, uh, yeah. So, other way, folks, I'm Spook. I will see you all in the next video. So, see you later, folks. And I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.